stretch his back. See, the love of God doesn't become weak. True love is in the giver of the love, not in the receiver of the love. Do we understand that? It's a self-sacrificing love. Yes. And it's always that way. Agape love is always focused away from self to someone else. So there's no chance of love getting, I mean, God's version of love ever weakening. God loves who? What do we read in Romans 6, 5? 5, 6. When I was helpless and ungodly, Jesus came and died for me. That's agape love. So the focus that we have to have on love or understanding it is that the love is in the giver, regardless of the character of the giver, give the receiver. That's bad grammar to get your attention. <laughs> Do we understand that? That's the issue. God loves the unlovable. Any questions of what we've got? I have to stop. And I'll pick up next week. Unless another storm comes. <laughs> Any questions on what we've covered this morning? Galatians 5, 1 through 14. So what does God call us for? Freedom. Liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the what? So when we have this understanding and have this surrender to God, then what? We will love our neighbor regardless of how unlovable our neighbor is. Or how unneighborly our neighbor is. The reward of love, agape love, is in the giving. Let God deal with the person and how receptive and appreciative they are of God's agape love. That's none of my business. Are we clear on this? Let's have prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for the blessing of studying your word. We pray that your Holy Spirit will feel welcome in each one of us. Not only for understanding, but because we've learned today that the power of the performance is included in the Holy Spirit. And that's what we want. We want for you to perform in us and through us so that everyone that you choose to bring into our lives will see your character being reproduced in us that is the ultimate witness we thank you for answering this request in Jesus name Amen.